This is shaping up as a very interesting day because there's quite a bit going on. A lot of different market dynamics are going. So let's start off with the first thing you need to know is that Christine Lagarde continues to put a very hawkish tone forward for the ECB. One of the things she said in an early morning speech, the ECB must persist with high rates to ward off a wage price spiral. She also, in this part I'm paraphrasing, basically said that even a year from now, they're not going to be sure they've won the fight on inflation and, we, and rates are going to have to stay higher for longer. So as I speak to you right now, we've got the Dow up about a third of a percent, the S&P up about a third of a percent, the NASDAQ about a half a percent, and the Russell up close to 1%. Why is that with rates going higher? And they are, right now, the two years up nine basis points, the five years up seven, the 10 years up four, and the 30 years up one. Well, they're going higher terms of the stocks because of the data that came out. Canadian inflation was lower. U.S. durable goods, very strong. U.S. consumer confidence, stronger than expected. New home sales, very strong. And prices are up 12.2%. So things are looking good again for this set of data in the underlying economy. That's leaving crude oil down mildly, dollar and gold lower copper and silver higher. We had some yuan intervention yesterday. China's yuan firmed as the central bank set the daily fixing stronger than market expectations for the second day in a row. That triggered state-owned banks to sell dollars in the offshore foreign exchange spot market. That's being reported by Reuters, Bloomberg, everybody. So we saw China intervention as well yesterday. That's also pushing the dollar lower. Today, we get the results of the bank stress test from the Fed. That will have some effect on the financial markets and the banking sector. Keep a close eye on that. And looking ahead, earnings after the close, Jeffrey's Financial Aerospace and Defense Contractor Aerovironment and Basic Materials Companies Nova Gold Resources, a gold miner. Tomorrow before the open, consumer stock General Mills and industrial giant Universe Corp. And then in terms of data, we get Chinese industrial profits tonight and the start of the ECB Central Bank's forum on central banks in Central Portugal. That will include most of all the large central banks, including the US. Several speakers will be happening from there. And then tomorrow morning, German and GFK consumer confidence, those stress tests I mentioned, and then Jerome Powell is going to be speaking as well.